Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this cushion cover. You can also use the same patterns to make my spring blanket. You'll need to use three other videos to make up the cushion and the blanket. The videos are the circle to square granny, the butterfly and the flowers. We'll have links to those videos in the description. Now I've made up the pieces for the cushion already from the other videos. I've made four circle to square grannies using soft fun colours 2610 butterscotch and 2412 white. I could get 20 of the yellow bits out of one ball and eight for round the edges in the white out of one ball and it would probably take two balls for round a blanket of each colour and if you were doing a cushion you could get it out of one ball of yellow and you might may need two balls of white. For these white flowers I've got a tiny bead and I've made them out of maxi sweet treat and a one millimeter hook. The color is 106 snow white. The butterflies are also made out of the maxi sweet treat as are these flowers. I've used 606 for these butterflies and the leaves and 215 Royal Blue for these butterflies and the flowers. And I've used a slightly bigger bead for the middle of the flowers. The first thing I'm going to do is stitch my granny squares together. For this cushion I used a slip stitch to join them together. I do have a video of joining granny squares with a slip stitch if you'd rather slip stitch them. But this time I'll just sew them together. I'll just stitch two together and then stitch the other two together and then I'll stitch the two pieces together. So I'll do that and I'll be back and then we'll work an edging around the cushion. Now for the edging I'll be using the soft fun. I've got 2610 the butterscotch and 2412 the white. I'll be using the white first. I've got a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. I often use a size smaller crochet hook for the edging than for the middle of the blanket and I've got my four squares joined together. Now for the edging I'm just going to work a really simple edging in single crochet because the body of the cushion or blanket has got quite a lot of detail. So I'm starting with my white and you can join anywhere you like. I'm going to join near the join of the two granny squares there. And I work one chain. I'm going to work one single crochet in the same stitch as a chain. The single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, put your hook into the stitch, bring through a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. And we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch up the side to the corner.
Into this corner loop we're going to work three single crochet. And then we work one single crochet in each stitch along the side and into each corner we'll work three single crochet. So I'll continue working a single crochet into each stitch on the side and three single crochet into the corner stitch and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row. When we get back to the beginning of the row we work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. So this stitch here, for a slip stitch put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. For row two we start with one chain and work one single crochet into the same stitch as a chain and then we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch to that corner stitch there. So one single crochet into each stitch up to the corner. Now I'm to the corner stitch. I'm going to work three single crochet into that corner stitch. And then I'm going to work one single crochet into each stitch along the next side. So I'll continue a lot like that working one single crochet into each stitch along the side and three single crochet into each corner stitch and I'll be back when I get to the end of the row. Now I'm back to the beginning of the row so I join with a slip stitch in the top of that first stitch and that's my two rows of white done. Now I'm going to join in the yellow and work one chain. I work one single crochet in the same stitch as a chain now I'm going to work two rows of yellow the same as that last row of white I work one single crochet into each stitch along the sides and three single crochet into each corner stitch and I work two rows like that so one single crochet into each stitch along the sides and three single crochet into each corner stitch and then I'll join with a slip stitch and then I'll work another row the same so I'll work two rows of yellow and I'll be back. I'm back to the beginning of the row so I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. Now for the blanket I would finish there because I'm only going to have butterflies in the joins but for the cushion because I'd like it a bit bigger and I'm also going to have the butterflies in the corners and on the sides I'm going to do two more rows of white and then two more rows of the yellow so I'll join in my white and work one chain
and a single crochet into that first stitch. And then I'll work another two rows of one single crochet in each stitch along the sides and three single crochet in each corner stitch. And then I'll be back. That's the two rows of white worked. I'll join that last row with a slip stitch. And join in the yellow. I work one chain, a single crochet in the same stitch as a chain, and then I'm going to work two rows of one single crochet in each stitch along the sides and three single crochet in each corner stitch. So I'll work two rows like that with my yellow. I'll join at the end of the last row as usual and I'll weave in my ends and then I'll be back and we'll add the flowers and the butterflies. I've finished the edging and my ends are all woven in. Next I attach the small white flowers. Now I've got four sets of flowers I've got the one flower down from the two flowers at the top. So I attach that just at the top of the yellow there on that side. I'll attach another one just in the corner there of the yellow and then I attach another one to the corner down from the top one and the other one goes that side. Now for my blanket I'll have 10 rows across the top so I'll attach five the same as this one and five the same as this one. So I'll stitch these on and I'll be back and we'll attach the other flowers now the small white flowers are on. Next we attach the other flowers. They go just near the top of the small flowers. Just in there. The leaves point slightly down. Now I stitch around the centre of the flower first with the blue and then I stitch the leaves down. So I'll do that and I'll be back. After the larger flowers we attach a green butterfly in each corner. I like to face them outward and I attach a green butterfly in the middle. And I attach a blue butterfly on each side there, facing out. And a blue butterfly at the top and the bottom, facing the opposite way to the middle one. For the blanket I have my butterflies facing one way to a half way and the other way for the other half. To stitch them on I stitch around the wings, stitch the wings together first and then stitch them down and stitch the antenna on. If you don't stitch the wings together and the antenna down, they look a little bit scruffy. So I'll stitch these on and I'll be back to show you the finished cushion cover and the finished blanket. 
And there's the finished cushion cover and the finished blanket. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.